the legend of Johnny Mac Brown, Alabama Rose Bowl hero and Western movie icon. That is, of course, Johnny Mac Brown, the Crimson Tide All-America halfback who later became one of the most popular and prolific cowboy movie stars of the 20th century. It's 98 years ago this week that Brown first made his mark nationally in Alabama's debut Rose Bowl appearance scoring two touchdowns in a 20-19 victory over Washington that helped carve out a space for the Crimson Tide and Southern football in general within the popular imagination. Known as the Dothan Antelope, Brown was one of five football-playing brothers who emerged from that southeast Alabama town most famous for its annual peanut festival and went on to the University of Alabama. By the end of his life in 1974, he had nearly 200 film credits to his name. Johnny Mac Brown represents an uncommonly full and fulfilling story of celebrity at the intersection of life with not one, but two, powerful myths of American manhood, historian Philip D. Beadler wrote in 1995. In newspapers and sporting publications across the land, Brown found popular enshrinement along with such Golden Age heroes as Newt Rockne and Red Grange as the latest All-American champion of the college gridiron. And on the screen, during the heyday of the Hollywood Cowboy, he inherited the mantle of stardom from the legendary William S. Hart and joined the Saturday afternoon company of Tom Mix, Buck Jones, Ken Maynard, Hoot Gibson, Gene Autry and Roy Rogers as one of the most popular Western movie entertainers of his era. Born September 1, 1904, as the son of shopkeepers, Brown starred at Dothan High School before earning a scholarship to Alabama in 1922. He arrived in Tuscaloosa just as the Crimson Tide was beginning to become a national power in football. Alabama went 7-2-1 and lost the Southern Conference Championship on the final Saturday of the season in 1923, then finished 8-1 and took home the league title the following year. The Speedy Brown had begun to emerge as a standout that season, scoring three touchdowns in the season opener versus Union returning a kickoff 99 yards for a score versus Kentucky and scoring on long interception returns versus both Georgia and Furman. As former Alabama head coach Wallace Wade told it in 1981 shortly before his death, Brown, always a gifted runner, didn't become a truly outstanding player until he improved his blocking and tackling prior to his junior year. He was a great runner and a great pass receiver but he was weak on defense, Wade said. Until he became a good defensive player, we couldn't afford to play him. We had to have an all-around football player. Alabama had its best team yet in 1925, with not only Brown returning but also quarterback Grant Gillis and ends Hoyt Wu Winslet and Red Brown, Johnny Mack's younger brother. But the true leader of the team was fullback Allison Pooley Hubert, a burly Mississippi native regarded as among the toughest players of his era. The Crimson Tide rolled through the regular season at 9-0, allowing just seven points total and playing only two games decided by fewer than 27 points. Brown scored a 55-yard touchdown in a 7-0 victory at Georgia Tech in late October, a game that featured 23 tackles by Hubert. It's not entirely clear when Brown acquired the nickname the Dothan Antelope, but it appears the first reference in print came in the Birmingham News on November 15. 1925. In his account of Alabama's 34-0 victory over Florida, longtime sports editor Zip Newman described one sequence thusly there was no catching the Dothan Antelope, who was breaking loose for 10, 15, 20 and 30-yard gains. The Rose Bowl, first played in 1902 and continuously since 1916, was the only postseason college football game at the time. Alabama was not the first choice of the lofty tournament of Rose's committee. Dartmouth, Yale, Illinois and Tulane all dropped out of consideration before an invitation was finally extended to Alabama.